Welcome to the Hospitality Meta Search Marketing Podcast show number seven with your co-hosts Lauren Gray and Dean Schmidt. Hello everyone and welcome to the Hospitality Meta Search Management Podcast. I am your co-host Lauren Gray and so every week we bring you the latest in meta search management ideas, tips and training for the hospitality marketing professional. And now for our lead host, Mr. Dean Schmidt. Thank you, Lauren. Hello, and welcome to the seventh episode of our Heavy Meta Podcast. It's your one-way ticket to midnight cutting through the heavy meta noise. My name is Dean Schmidt, and I am the founder at Basecamp Meta, where we focus on educational content surrounding meta search, as well as metasearchmarketing.com, where we focus on running your meta search campaigns. So we've taken a little break from podcasting this year, but in light of some recent events, I thought it was time to get back into the, to the swing of things. And that said, in the next four episodes, we will talk about Google's free booking links or their free organic meta. We will talk about TripAdvisor Plus. We will talk about revenue management and meta search and how those two go hand in hand. And finally, digital marketing as a whole and where meta search sits within that funnel. Now, I might switch up the order just a little bit. So watch for more details on upcoming episodes. Now today, we're going to start with Google's free organic meta. Now, to understand what that means, we have to paint a little bit of a picture, and this is uh, this is radio, not TV, right? So try to follow along with me. If you happen to be at a computer, feel free to run through this exercise yourself. If not, just kind of create a visual in your mind if you would. So you're on Google, and you search for your favorite hotel. Just type in the hotel name, whatever it may be, and you get the traditional search engine marketing ads on the left-hand side of the screen, your SEO, search engine optimization, the organic results, everything you see on the left, and then off on the right is what we call the Google My Business page. And every business has one of these, whether you're a hotel or a barbershop or a convenience store or Walmart, it doesn't matter. Everybody's got one of these. For hotels, however, these feature specific points of sale and date selections. And so that's where meta search happens in there. Now, historically, you would see maybe five or six different points of sale that would come up before or above the fold. And then you could click on view more rates and it would expand that and you would see more of those. What is happening now is that top section, the above the fold part of that is going to be limited to just four points of sale. Once you get past those and you click on that view more, you'll be taken into a more immersive screen. In other words, rather than it being just on the right-hand side of your screen, now it's taking you to where you're filling up the entire screen. And so Google's basically trying to take the consumer a little bit further down their purchasing funnel by taking them now to a page that is dedicated just to that property. As such, we still have the four Google meta search links, the paid links that we had on top, but now we have another section that comes up below that where we have the free organic links. Okay, now this can be really important because remember we have just four paid spots on top there. When we talk about key performance indicators for Google, one of the measuring sticks, if you will, is your impression share and how many eligible impressions did you have. So this is going to artificially impact those impression share numbers just a little bit because before you were one of five, maybe one of six, now you are one of four. So even in the fourth spot, you have at least a 25% impression share, right? So it's not quite an apples to apples comparison. Now, as we move back to that organic section that you're going to see on the bottom of there where it's extended, you may look at that and say, okay, fantastic, I've got another point of sale on here if I'm running a meta search campaign, or if I'm not running a meta search campaign, I at least have a point of sale, whatever the case may be. But what you have to remember is that so does everybody else. So all of those paid ads that we saw in the top four spots we talked about early on, now have the ability to repeat themselves and also have a second point of sale. Perhaps more importantly than that, however, is that if you start reading that down, you're going to notice at the bottom of that, you can expand it even further. Oh yes, there's more. So now you can expand that further and you start seeing every OTA site imaginable 
as well as some that were not imaginable <laughs> that are coming up as a point of sale on your meta search. What do I mean by some that were not manageable? I mean online travel agencies that you've never heard of before are now sprouting up and putting in a point of sale. Where are they getting that availability from? And oh, by the way, do you notice that oftentimes those are undercutting your rates? And have you been wondering why that is? Well, it's because they are getting their inventory from wholesalers and bed banks. Uh, this is another reason why it is so very important to make sure that you have your wholesaler agreements under control because it's now become the wild, wild west. Think about it. They've got excess room inventory that they need to dump off somewhere. And suddenly, here is a site where A, I, can, I the wholesaler, can have the lowest rate. I can undercut everybody else on here. And B, it doesn't cost me a thing. I don't even have to pay a cost per click. I used to use some of the lesser known meta search channels actually to monitor wholesale activity. Uh, sites like Hipmunk, which is no longer around as Hipmunk anyway. Uh, you would go on there and you'd see these wholesaler channels on there, again, that you've never heard of before, largely because they were paying like 30 cents a click. It was cheap. Well, now it's not just cheap, it's free. All they have to do is distribute it and, and have that booking link connection. All right, the good news about this is that more often than not, I'm not going to say always, but more often than not, the brand.com page or the point of sale for brand.com gets the top listing in the organic meta search. Now, why is that? So Google has a secret sauce that determines their ranking order for that organic meta search. It's kind of like knowing their latest algorithms for their search engine optimization, Panda or whatever animal we're on now these days. And one of the key, there's a lot of key criteria that go into that. Rate parity is part of it. But one of the other key criteria, say that a few times fast, it has to do with the score of the landing page. In other words, how well did the landing page from that point of sale link service the consumer and their needs, what they were looking for? Now, think about how that works out. If you're an online travel agent, I click on that link and it's taking me to an OTA landing page that features that hotel at the top of the list, but from there I still have to click two, three, four, maybe five more times before I've actually made a booking. Uh, furthermore, it also will list, here are five other selections that we, the OTA, think you might be interested in. By way of comparison, if I click on a branded link going straight to the hotel's website, it's taking me all the way into the booking engine. It's bypassing even the front page of the booking engine or of the uh, website, all the way to the booking engine with the dates I selected, the room category in some cases, and straight to that point. So usually I can go click, click, and book. Two clicks and I'm booking a reservation. And so that creates a higher quality score for that landing page. Right, so that's really important because it does give you as a hotel the opportunity to dominate that. I have seen instances where online travel agents were ahead of the brand direct. So I won't say that it is absolutely all the, all the time. It is, however, the majority of the time, and that's very important. All right, so great. I can get my organic meta search link in there for free. That's all I need to do, right? Well, not entirely. Mm. So here's where there's a little bit of a catch to that. We have to think in terms of how much visibility am I actually going to see uh, from that listing in that extended section. Uh, and it's just like when we talk about digital marketing as a whole. We talk about above the fold and below the fold advertising, right? Below the fold and additional pages gets very little visibility. It's the same principle. Well, that applies here as well. Now, the Google free booking links have been out actually for more than a year. Uh, they just haven't been in a, what we would call a production environment. Uh, but there have been companies out there that have been testing it. Mirai is one of them. And Mirai did a study on that. It is published. You can Google and find it. And with their data that they showed tracking information on, less than 3% of the overall impressions came below the fold in that organic section. So now you're down as low as 3% visibility. Now, I have seen some other studies that have come out that have talked about higher numbers. The largest one that I've seen was at 11%. So let's round that down to a 10 just for convenience purposes. Uh, so at best, 10% of your visibility comes down there. That means that 90% of the time, you're never going to get seen. 
Okay, so the moral of that story is that in order to really have anything productive from your MetaSearch campaign, you do need to have that CPC model. Now, CPCs, cost per click, are at an all-time low. So that does work to your advantage. I do think these are going to increase for two reasons. One, because travel is coming back. We've seen all kinds of reports about that. Uh, so very optimistic about the, the, re, uh, the revenge travel, if you will. And number two, because remember, again, now there's only four spots up there. So my prime real estate has lower opportunities. So there's basic supply and demand, right? So my supply is lower, demand gets higher, the cost per click goes up. Uh, so that is something I do expect to see this summer, which is why it's really important to run those now so you can start getting some data in there and have that historic information. All right. However, there is one particular group of hotels that can really benefit from this. And those are the hotels that don't do any distribution. Now, it may sound, that may sound crazy. You're thinking, well, everybody does distribution. Well, no, they don't. Think about that small five-room bed and breakfast uh, somewhere in Kansas, right? They don't distribute to the online travel agencies. Uh, they do have a Google My Business page. You do, whether you know it or not. Uh, but they don't have any points of sale on there because they don't have any distribution. Well, imagine for just a moment now how you can leverage this. You can get and own the point of sale on your Google My Business page and have that free organic listing on there. So there's a lot of opportunity for small properties. And that those are the ones who can really win from this is having the ability to get a live point of sale on your Google Meta Search. You by the way, you don't necessarily even have to need to have your own website or booking engine. You should. That's a whole other conversation. You should. But there are ways to work with that. In fact, my shameless plug, we've developed a program designed to enable hotels take advantage of Google's meta points of sale. Uh, you can visit our website at www.metasearchmarketing.com or contact me directly by way of dean at metasearchmarketing.com. Okay. That said, hey, thank you for listening today. I hope you found this both enjoyable and useful, and we'll tune into next week's podcast. I think before we dry, dive into TripAdvisor Plus, we need to talk a bit more about Google's verticalization of hospitality marketing and how this ties into the marketing funnel, which in turn is relevant to the TripAdvisor Plus conversation. How's that for a little teaser? We would love to hear from you and learn more about what questions you have you can reach out to us by way of dean at metasearchmarketing.com. Also, info at basecampmeta.com. We will be sure to add your questions to our next show. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast and become an upfront fanatic tearing down the barricades to reach the stage. Lauren, back to you. Thank you, Dean, for that. Remember, you can find us on Google Play, Apple iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, TuneIn, Podcast, Breaker, and Acast. We're even on Amazon's Alexa, Google Assistant, and Siri. Just ask to play the Hospitality Meta Search Marketing Podcast. And no matter which one you may use, if you like the show, please subscribe with us, rate us, and leave us a comment. That will help others find our content as well. Should you have any questions or comments, please send them to me, Lauren Gray, at lauren at hospitalitydigitalmarketing.com or Dean Schmidt at dean at basecampmeta.com. Also, if this is your first time hearing us, you can always subscribe to our show on any of those platforms that you discover us on as well. Thank you for the privilege of your time, and we look forward to talking to you next week. You have been listening to the Hospitality Meta Search Marketing Podcast Show number 7 brought to you by Hospitality Digital Marketing and Basecamp Meta, all rights reserved, copyright 2021.